A few months ago, I posted a video on this channel entitled Writing Systems of the World. In that video, I talked about the five main categories of writing systems, as well as the fact that many of the scripts used in the world today evolved from a single source, the ancient Phoenician Abjad. I also mentioned that a very old script from India, known as Brahmi, may have evolved from Aramaic, which, if true, would mean that all of the modern South Asian scripts are also part of this family tree. Well, since posting that video, I've received many comments from viewers questioning this theory. First of all, many people asked why I didn't mention Sanskrit, considering that Sanskrit is one of the world's oldest languages and is the basis for most of the languages used in North India today. Also, several commenters claimed that because Sanskrit is around 4,000 years old, but Aramaic is only 3,000 years old, there's no way that Indian scripts could have evolved from Middle Eastern scripts. So today I'm going to respond to these comments and explore the question, how old is Sanskrit? Okay, the first thing you need to know is that a language and a writing system are two different things. A language is a method of communication that can be either spoken or written. In most cases, though, human languages originate first in a spoken form and only later in a written form. A writing system, on the other hand, is a set of symbols that can be used to represent the spoken sounds of a language. Sometimes the name of a language and the name of the writing system used to write that language are the same. So, for example, the Greek language is usually written using Greek letters. But sometimes the two things are different. For example, the Hindi language is written using Devanagari letters. Russian is written using Cyrillic letters. And English is written using Latin letters. And one writing system can be used to write many different languages. So don't confuse a language with a writing system. Which brings me to Sanskrit. Sanskrit is a language. It is not a writing system. In order to write Sanskrit, you need to use a writing system. Nowadays, Devanagari is most often used, but the earliest known writing system used to write Sanskrit was Brahmi. This is why I talked about Brahmi and Devanagari in my video about writing systems, but I did not talk about Sanskrit. But let's talk a little more about Sanskrit now. The oldest surviving example we have of the Sanskrit language is the Rig Veda. The Rig Veda is a collection of ancient Hindu hymns. Scholars have concluded that the Rig Vedas were composed somewhere around the year 1500 BCE. So that would be approximately 3500 years ago. Experts are able to come up with dates like this through linguistic analysis, which involves comparing a bunch of related languages and figuring out how they are actually branches originating from a single original language. In this case, we know that Sanskrit is one of the many branches that evolved from Proto-Indo-European, which happens to be the ancestor of English as well. Anyway, we know that the Northern Indian languages diverged from Iranian languages around 4,000 years ago, and that's why Vedic Sanskrit is dated to a little bit after this. And I should point out that whatever language was spoken before the divergence can't really be called Sanskrit. It's more accurately called Proto-Indo-Iranian. So once again, let me state that the Rig Veda was composed in Sanskrit around 3,500 years ago. Now, the problem with statements like this is that they lead some people to assume that somewhere in India, probably in a museum, is a very dusty 3,500-year-old book, which is the original version of the Rig Veda, and that all modern copies are based off of that original. But here's the thing. 
Note that I said that the Rig Veda was composed 3,500 years ago. I didn't say that it was written 3,500 years ago. As far as we know, the Rig Veda was originally passed down orally only. So 3,500 years ago, people were speaking Sanskrit, but they weren't writing in Sanskrit. If they were, no copies have survived, and therefore we have no way of knowing what writing system they used. The oldest physical copy of the Rig Veda we have today is actually only about 600 years old, and the oldest written examples we have of anything written in Sanskrit are only about 2,100 years old. These include the Hatibada Gosandi inscriptions, which were carved into stone using the Brahmi script. So they date to around 100 BCE, and that's about as far back as written Sanskrit goes. Now, we actually have examples of the Brahmi script that are even older than this. The Edicts of Ashoka, which date to around 250 BCE. But the Edicts of Emperor Ashoka were not written in Sanskrit. Remember, a writing system can be used to record more than one language. In this case, the language is Prakrit. By the time of Ashoka, Vedic Sanskrit was only used in religious settings, and a newer version of Sanskrit, known as Classical Sanskrit, was only used by the upper class. Among common, everyday folk, Sanskrit had evolved into many different vernacular languages, called Prakrits. And Ashoka chose one of these everyday languages for his edicts. So we know that Brahmi dates to at least 250 BCE, but we don't have any surviving examples of writing in India before this date. Well, there is the Indus Valley script, but I'll come back to that. On the other hand, we have inscriptions in Aramaic that go back as far as 500 BCE. So based on the dates, it is possible that the Brahmi script evolved from the Aramaic script. But did it? Well, the honest answer is we simply don't know. In my video on writing systems, I did not actually claim that Brahmi definitely came from Aramaic. I simply mentioned it as a possibility. This is because it is one of the major theories that have been put forward by people who study such things. And in a lot of ways, the theory does make sense. Just prior to the time of Ashoka, contact between North India and the Middle East had greatly increased, thanks to a guy named Alexander the Great. This is also why Buddhist sculptures from this period suddenly start looking a lot like classical Greek sculptures. The Greeks obviously spoke Greek and used the Greek alphabet, but in Persia, which is right next to North India, the Aramaic language and writing system was still used. In fact, Ashoka wrote some of his edicts in Greek and Aramaic, using the Greek and Aramaic scripts, so we definitely know that Indian scholars at the time were familiar with them. And then there's the physical similarities. Some of the Brahmi letters look very similar to the Aramaic letters, and the sound values match pretty closely as well. But, on the other hand, Brahmi has many features that do not correspond to Aramaic and other Phoenician-descended scripts, like Greek and Latin. The most important being that it is an abugida rather than abjad, or alphabet. If you want to know the difference between these three things, you'll have to watch my writing systems video. Another difference between Brahmi and Aramaic is that Brahmi has way more consonants. This is because Sanskrit and its descendants, like Hindi, have aspirated and non-aspirated versions of most consonants. I'm pretty bad at pronouncing the differences, but trust me, they are there. And whereas the letters in most abjads and alphabets have a seemingly random order, Brahmi and the many South Asian scripts that descend from it are arranged very logically. For example, all the k and g sounds go together because they are all made with the back of the tongue, and all the p and b sounds go together because they are all made with the lips. 
So even if Brahmi did borrow a few letter shapes from Aramaic, it's clear that whoever developed the script added a lot of new features to it based on unique aspects of the Sanskrit and Prakrit languages. So if Brahmi didn't come from Aramaic, where did it come from? Well, there are three possibilities. One is that it was simply a brand new invention, sort of like the Hangul alphabet in Korea. Second is that it descends from an unknown script that didn't survive, perhaps because it was mostly written on perishable surfaces like leaves instead of on stone. Third is that it might be a distant descendant of the Indus Valley script. The Indus Valley script dates from around the same time as Egyptian hieroglyphics and Sumerian cuneiform. But unfortunately, unlike Egyptian and Sumerian, it has never been deciphered. The Indus Valley civilization flourished around 2500 BCE, but then it completely disappeared and was replaced with Vedic civilization. It's likely that the Indus Valley people spoke a language unrelated to Sanskrit. However, it is possible that they did have some sort of influence on later Indian societies. So how old is Sanskrit? Well, the spoken version dates back to at least 1500 BCE, but the written version is no older than about 250 BCE. That means that the writing systems used in India today could, in fact, be distantly related to other Phoenician-descended writing systems such as Latin, Hebrew, and Greek. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching.